I got like 7,999 reasons why I love y'all so much. But let me tell you one of them. It's because y'all are funny. Yeah, y'all are funny. Uh, like yesterday, we, we had to do some investigating. We had to do some searching, some snooping around to try to figure out who was going to occupy that last spot on the Ravens roster since they had uh, released uh, Isaiah Mack. Um, and he became a free agent, so he had to clear through waivers. And we were wondering, like, huh, who's going to take his spot? Now, I was thinking maybe Tylen Wallace, but at the same time, if they bring him back, they're not going to use him. So why would it be Tylen Wallace? Some of y'all suggested Anthony Brown because this is his – he just had his third call up, so they got to release him and let him clear through waivers or they got to call him up to the active roster. Something's got to happen with that. Um, and then some people suggested Josh Ross. And I was like, oh, man, that's one that I did not even think of because he um, he was on injury reserve, but they designated him. They haven't designated him to return officially, but they did. He did start his 21 day window. So within the next two weeks, he could be added to the active roster. And I was like, oh, I did not even think about that. Didn't even think about that. And when you do think about it um, with them. Releasing, uh, they released Josh Bynes last week. Then they brought up Isaiah Mack. Uh, with them signing Josh Josh Bynes back, but to the practice squad, um, that could be them just doing some linebacker roster shuffling. Maybe they want to only keep a certain numbers a number of linebackers on the active roster, and maybe they like, all right, Josh Bynes, you out, and Josh Ross, you up. So that could be one, but what I appreciated was uh, y'all yesterday, like it was a lot of people. At first when I was going through the comments, I saw one person say, oh, it, it could be for OBJ. I was thinking, oh, um, no, nah, I don't think so. But then I saw somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. They were like, it's OBJ, buddy. And I was like, whoa, OBJ. I, I, but I, I don't think it's going to be for no OBJ. I don't think that last roster spot going to Odell Beckham Jr. But, hey, we won't know till we know. But um, based off of y'all, like Josh Ross, that would be one that I would think uh, the most. But there's Anthony Anthony Brown as well. But, anyway, we'll see later today. Now, um, another thing, too. In the question from subscriber video yesterday, the one about the perfect situation for Lamar Jackson, we were explaining uh, about – Twitter about how the other day on Twitter, my guy Adam, he was like, name your top five favorite Ravens. And we told the story how we named our top five favorite Ravens. Uh, and with an opinion based tweet like that, people are going off and saying it's ridiculous and stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. How long you been a Ravens fan for? People just getting so upset over an opinion on my favorites. Not the best, but my favorites. But y'all y'all heard that, and then all of y'all start naming y'all top five favorites. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm, hey, I'm with it. I, I I love looking at people's lists. Yeah, like I told y'all plenty of times, I love looking at people's lists. I don't like making my own, but I love looking at people's lists. So I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all so much, man. Um, we got a lot of new team keep it clean patrons, uh, which we'll 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 get into that a little bit later. Uh, so I appreciate y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all. So. Just know that. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, that's, I guess that's that. So getting into it, um, the Ravens, they signed Josh Bynes. They brought him back. Um, he, he is back yet again. They signed him to the practice squad, though, not the, not the active roster. He did not take up that 53rd roster spot uh, on the Ravens roster. Uh, so we're still waiting to see who that ends up being. Um, but like I said, if I had to guess, I would say Josh Rock, but again, Anthony Brown's out of call ups. But we'll see what happens with Lamar. So let's we'll see. Um, but he's back again. And Josh Bynes is somebody who, shortly before Roquan Smith, um, they made the trade for him, he was inactive. And then definitely after that, he was inactive and just really hadn't been really involved in much of anything that the Ravens were doing and I mean it would be very tough for them to get him involved in anything that the Ravens were doing simply because they have a Roquan Smith and they have a Patrick Queen like we you gonna put them on special teams not at this age no nah. um because Josh Bynes like even a couple years back um Josh Bynes had we know he's he's lost a step 
but he he gained experience, gained smart. So with Josh Bynes, he's one of them people that's like in the right place at the right time um, because of his experience and his knowledge and understanding of the game. Um, but yeah, you you wouldn't put him on special teams. I don't think you would put him on special teams. Uh, and with Roquan Smith taking over the defense and Patrick Queen, him being taken to another level, it's only so much inside linebackers you could put on the field and you can have active on game day. Uh, so they did some roster shuffling and whatnot and ended up cutting him last week um, off, the, off the active roster. Uh, and then now he's back, but on uh, the practice squad. And, and Josh Vines, he's been doing it for a long time, man. Like this dude been doing this since Ray Lewis was around. Since Ray Lewis was since Ray Lewis was around, Josh Bryan's been in the league for that long, and that says a lot about him. That says a lot about him. It says a lot about his um, just his longevity in the NFL. Because y'all know NFL stands for not for long, stands for not for long. Um, so the fact that he is still doing it, shout out to him. Um, in other news, Reed, <laughs> that boy Ed Reed, finally head coach. He done made it. Finally, head coach. He's gonna be a head coach of um Bethune Cookman. Those are uh, the classics. Classics, obviously, already a party, already go crazy enough. Now you add Ed Reed to the mix, so he go do his thing too. So I'm happy for Ed Reed, man. I'm happy for Ed Reed. Ed Reed being a, a head coach at a HBCU. Ed Reed from the U, and he. <laughs> I bet, I bet he probably told Harbaugh, hey, what, you going to let me be a defensive coordinator for you one day? And Harbaugh said, no, buddy, no. But it's okay, man. He, he'll, uh, one day, man, one day. But I did, this is a start for Ed Reed. Um, this is nice that he is uh, he getting an opportunity, um, finally. Uh, this is something that probably, probably long overdue, really. Very long overdue. I know he did uh he did some coaching at UM and I know he has some I forget exactly what the position that he had at UM. I forgot exactly what it was called. But this is him starting to get his foot in the door. So could he do like how Dion did and just really turn things around like Dion turned it around for Jackson and now could Air Reed do the same thing for Bethune? Could like really put them on the map? He certainly got the notoriety, obviously. He like one of, if not the best safety ever, ever. You're definitely the best safety with the ball in his hands. I'll tell you that. Uh, best playmaking safety. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> read. So, um, no, nah, I'm happy for him though. It, that's that's really really good because he's always talked about how he he's wanted to get into coaching. Um, he's also talked about just. How unfair a lot of situations are when it comes to coaching and whatnot. We see that. We see that. It, it's, it's obvious. We are. We all already know. But um, this is good for Ed Reed that he getting a shot now. So shout out to him. I hope it goes really well. Um, cause he could like as far as the recruiting process, based off of his name alone, people gonna go on to come play for him. I mean, it's the same way with Dion. The same way with Dion. Cause it's not even just that. Dion and Ed Reed and it, I mean both what, one went to Florida State and one went to University of Miami. They, it's just something different about Florida. But anyway, it's no coincidence that like with Dion, a lot of players they wanted to play for him, and not just because he was a former NFL player. Because you got plenty of former NFL players, but Dion was one of the best to ever do it. So he wouldn't just be somebody that would talk the talk, but he's somebody that's actually walked the walk as well, even with his missing toes. So it's the same thing with Ed Reed. He ain't just somebody that talks the talk. And he ain't nobody like Ed Reed is somebody that he does not waste words. And what I mean when I say that is he he doesn't talk much. But when he says something, it's like, all right, let's listen up and see what Ed Reed got to say. Because he ain't going to just be out here. Rah, 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 rah. He ain't going to be doing that. I know some people think that'll be doing <laughs> Shout out to Ed Reed, man. We love Ed Reed. Um, and Isaiah Mack. Isaiah Mack. Ravens, uh, they, they put him out there. They, they risked him. They put him out there to the Wolves, and the Wolves came and snatched him up. Them Seahawks. Seahawks, uh, they claimed Isaiah Mack. Um, not sure if the Ravens were trying to get him back or not, uh, but the Ravens ain't get him back because he is now a Seattle Seahawk. I think Seattle, Seattle, Seattle Seahawks had claimed somebody um, like a couple years ago that the Ravens had released. And I think it was a cornerback or a safety. I'm trying to remember who it was, 
but I cannot remember off the top of my head. But it was somebody like a couple years ago who Ravens released and they put them on waivers and the Seahawks claimed them. I really can't think of who it is. Watch. As soon as I stop recording, well, probably maybe like 45 minutes after I stop recording, his name is going to come to me, but I just cannot remember it right now. But anyway, um, so Seahawks get a nice young uh, defensive tackle. Uh, with with, with a, a good amount of upside, so we'll see uh, how it works out for him over there. Hopefully, it does work out for him over there, uh, because now he's on their active roster. Because you can't claim somebody and put them on a practice squad; they go straight to the active roster. So that'll be nice for him. Uh, that'll be nice for his pockets. That'll be nice for his income. Um, so yeah, that's that's great, man. It's always a great thing when you see people get opportunities. Um, and I guess this video is really about all about people getting opportunities. Um, Josh Bynes getting an opportunity to come back to the Ravens again. Ed Reed getting an opportunity to become a head coach. Uh, and then Isaiah Mack getting an opportunity uh, literally across the country uh, to go play for the Seattle Seahawks. So that's cool, man. And that, that's what it's about. It's about opportunity. Uh, a lot of people feel like um, <clears throat> in so many different situations uh, feel like all they need is an opportunity. Um, some people feel like they may be looked over for stuff. Uh, they may be passed by for stuff, um, but all they need is an opportunity to show that they can do it, that they can make it happen. Uh, and that's what it's about, making the most of your opportunity when you do uh, get that opportunity. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, and we out.